Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today we'll be discussing the fee preview report found in the FBA Business Report section of Communicate for Marketplaces. My name is Tom and I'll be your presenter for this video. Communicate for Marketplaces is an enterprise level cloud reporting platform designed for e-commerce merchants just like you. Communicate features over 220 standard reports, dashboards, and utilities along with many other capabilities for marketplace reporting. It is remarkably intuitive and easy to use. In no time you'll be running reports just like a pro. The fee preview report is an Amazon FBA business report available for FBA merchants. The fee preview report displays the estimated Amazon selling and fulfillment fees for your FBA inventory sold via Amazon. FBA fee estimates found in the fee preview report are for your information only. You can use these estimates when analyzing your costs, pricing, and margins for your FBA inventory. Actual fees may vary depending on several factors like the pricing of your products and promotions applied to the sale. The fee preview report provides itemized weight and measurement details used for calculating fee estimates. This report also provides itemized fee assessments which comprise the estimated total fee for each product. Included with this report are future itemized fee assessments for each product if applicable. The marketplace reporting implementation of this report has value added features which extends the usefulness of the fee preview report. Some of the value added features include supplier info, along with brands and categories, for greater insight into trends and patterns for Amazon sales and fees. Let's get started with the fee preview report presentation for marketplace reporting. Go to the FBA business reports menu located on the ribbon bar. Select the fee preview report from the payment section. Click the right mouse button anywhere within the report and select search from the pop-up menu. Let's discuss the data filters for this report. The filter options found in the upper right has several filters we'll discuss. The brand filter displays a list of brands assigned to your FBA inventory. The group filter displays a list of Amazon departments or categories. The total estimated fees greater than zero option ignores any product where the total estimated fee equals zero. This is selected by default. The next set of filters located bottom left of the data filters is the marketplace filter options. For U.S. merchants with a unified North American account, the fee preview from Amazon Canada and Mexico will be included in this report. By default, Amazon U.S. is the only option selected. You can select Canada and or Mexico to include fee previews from those marketplaces as well. The data filters for this report include additional filter tabs located across the bottom. You can filter by brands, categories, products, and suppliers. We'll use the default filters for the support, so click on the Apply button to generate the fee preview results for the report. As you can see, there are 179 products listed with estimated fees. Let's look at the data groups and columns for this report so we can explain what they represent. This report features eight groups, four of which are not visible by default. The Product Info group contains vital data about your product. The Financials group contains costs, pricing, margins, estimated fees, average fees, and percentages. The Dimensions group contains the weight, units of measure, size tiers, and measurements for your product. The Current Estimates group contains all the itemized fees charged by Amazon for your product. Most columns within the Product Info group are self-explanatory, but there are four columns we'll explain. The first two are the Product group and the FBA brand columns. The Product group column is the Amazon department or category for your product. The FBA brand column is the brand assigned to your product at FBA. It can be different than the brand assignment within Communicate for Marketplaces. The next column we'll discuss within this group are the Marketplaces and Fulfilled By columns. The Marketplace column indicates the selling channel for the product. The Fulfilled By column is the entity which will fulfill the item. In most cases, this will be Amazon, but other entities may be responsible for filling this item. The next set of columns we'll discuss are in the Financials group. The Your Price value is the current selling price. The Sales Price value is the current promotional price. The unit cost is the current cost for the product. The adjusted cost value is the current cost of the product plus the estimated fees. The estimated fees value is the estimated fulfillment and selling fee for the product sold via FBA. The estimated fee percent represents the percentage of fees to be paid for fulfilling and selling via FBA. The gross margin value represents the net sales less the cost of goods sold plus the estimated fees. The gross margin percent value represents the gross margin divided by net sales. The average fees value is derived from the average of total fees charged by Amazon, which is found in your payment and settlement reports for product sales. The average fees percent value represents the percentage of fees actually paid divided by net sales. The next set of columns we'll discuss are in the dimensions group. The weight value is the weight of the product. The unit of weight value is the unit of weight and weight measurement. 
The unit of measure value is the unit of dimension used in measurement. The product size tier value is the size tier assigned to your product by FBA based on its dimensions and weight. The shortest side value is a measurement of the shortest side of your product included in its packaging. The longest side value is a measurement of the longest side of your product including its packaging. The median side value is the measurement of the side that is neither the longest nor the shortest of your product including its packaging. The length girth value is the longest side of your product including its packaging plus the girth, a unit of measure equivalent to the median side plus shortest side multiplied by 2. The next set of columns we'll discuss are in the current estimates group. The referral fee value is the estimated referral fee for selling the item on Amazon. The fulfillment fee value is the estimated FBA fulfillment for your product per unit sold. The handling fee value is the estimated order handling fee per order. The pick pack fee value is the estimated picking and packing fee per unit. The weight fee value is the estimated weight handling fee for your product based on the outbound shipping weight. The variable fee value is the estimated variable closing fee for your product. Here's a tech tip. All reports have additional display options or features which can be toggled on for use with the report. Let me show you how to easily toggle on some of those options and features. Go to the configure section located at the top of the ribbon bar and click on the display button. Go to the column options section and select the future estimates column option. Once these options have been selected, click the OK button to apply the changes and return to the report. A fifth group, future estimates, is now visible. It contains six columns which provide future fee estimates that will be charged by the future fee category effective date. The columns in this group are the same as those found in the current estimates group, except these values are proposed future fees based on the fee category effective date. The current fee category is the current fee category mapped to your listing. The future fee category is the future fee category that will be mapped to your listing by the future fee category effective date. See how easy it is to glean valuable business intelligence from your FBA fee preview report using Communicate for Marketplaces. This concludes our presentation of the FBA fee preview report found in the FBA business report section of Communicate for Marketplaces. In summary, it's a quick and easy way to view and analyze your estimated and future FBA fulfillment and selling fees on Amazon. This report offers greater visibility and transparency for your FBA fee preview for listings on Amazon. The value-added features of Communicate for Marketplaces extends the usefulness of the FBA fee preview report from Amazon. Reports are crucial for any business, especially yours. Marketplace reporting provides you with better reports and you can have better results for your business. You can contact us at sales at marketplacereporting.com to learn more about marketplace reporting and how we can help. You can join the conversation at marketplace reporting forward slash blog. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and share with your colleagues. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.